Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you how to apply the different background on the HTML page. Here you see that this is just a white background. So now I am going to give the different colors to this, this background and then I give the image background to this white screen. So now let's start. First of all here I am going to give the background to the body here what we need to do we need to write the style that is the internal style sheet here is the style and in between these tags we need to write the body selector I'm gonna apply the style on full body I'm gonna apply the background color background color and then then we need to write the colon and then we are able to write any name of the color here I'm gonna write red and so now here it's become red and here we are also able to write the hexadecimal color code here write the hash and then we have to, I'm gonna write this code and this code is uh, this code is for maybe for yellow or red so it is for red and I'm gonna add NF so now it is for yellow here you can see that this is a hexadecimal code and you can also write the color value in the RGP values here write the RGP then we have to write the ve three values three number values from 0 to 255 here I'm gonna write the 0 a random value 255 so let's check this what is this color so here this is a color and now I am gonna give the background image so now here I'm gonna remove this and here write the background image property then colon and now here I'm gonna write URL and then the parentheses and then in between these parentheses we have to write the address name and extension of the image and here is a image whose extension is jpg and whose name is 1.jpg here write the 1.jpg and now execute it so here you can see that the image is repeat over all the screen here is the image and if we don't want to repeat the image then we have to write background repeat property and then we have to write no repeat so now let's check it so now the image is not going to repeat and if we want to repeat the image in a specific direction if we want to repeat the image in the x direction or in the x axis so what we need to do we have to write repeat x here it is only repeating in the x axis if we want to repeat in the y axis or in the verti vertical direction so we have to write like this and if we want to repeat in both directions then we have to write repeat only here it is repeating the image in both directions x-axis and y-axis and now I am going to tell you about another property related to the image that is background position and before this here I'm gonna write no repeat so you can clearly understand the background position here write the background position property then colon and I'm gonna give it the value you can give it the value right top or the left top or the left bottom or the right bottom so now here I'm gonna give it the value right bottom right top so now let's check it so now the images appear in the right top corner and you can also give it the different values left bottom right bottom and the left top so now the we can also give it the value in the numbers you can give it the value of the x-axis is 100 pixel so now it is shown with the distance of 100 pixel in the x-axis and the 50 pixel distance in the y-axis 
here you can see that it is 100 pixel in the x-axis and the 50 pixel in the y-axis and you can also give it the value in the percentages here is a hundred percent and here is a fifty percent in the y-axis now let's check it and here you can see that this is the value and it have many changed effect and the next thing is the background size so what is the background size you can fix the size of the image in the background so now here I'm gonna edit this and give it the size and you can give it the predefined values first is cover so it cover all the screen so here you can see that it cover all the screen and you can also give it contain so here you can see that uh, the contain have created just a little picture in the page so now I'm gonna zoom in here is the picture here you can see that this is a picture the contain value is just used when you want to show the picture the picture is just fin fit inside the canvas so you can also write the hundred percent width and the height is automatically adjusted so now the picture is spread down all over the screen you can also give the height is also hundred percent so here you can see that here is the picture and you can also give the pixel uh, values in the pixel 100 pixel height and 100 pixel width first is width second is height and here is the image and the next thing is the background attachment so now what is the background attachment for this I am gonna create some paragraphs in the body here I'm gonna create a paragraph here is the paragraph tag now I'm gonna copy the paragraph from the Wikipedia Wikipedia and here is the Wikipedia and here I'm gonna copy this paragraph copy and paste it here so now this is just a simple paragraph and now I'm gonna paste it many more times now let's execute it and we have to paste it many and more times so now so now this is the way so now here you can see that here I'm gonna remove the background size this is just for the background attachment property so now let's watch it here is the picture and when we scroll down the page so here you can see that the picture is also scroll along with the paragraph or in other words the picture is picture will be hide when we scroll the page so if we want to fix the picture on the page whenever we scroll down the page the picture will be fixed and now we have to provide the background attachment property and here we have to write fixed and now let's execute it and here you can see that when we scroll down the page the picture is fixed on its place and you can also give it the value scroll so the picture is scroll along with the content this is the default value and here you have seen that the background have so many properties background color background image background repeat background attachment and also the background position and size which I have erased from this editor but we don't need to write all the values and the properties separately we have a shorthand property uh, in which we can give all the values 
here we what we need to do we have to write background and at the first we are able to give the color here I'm gonna give the color red and then we are able to give the image and here I'm gonna write 2.jpg and we are able to give the only one value between the color and the image but here I'm gonna show you example and then we are able to give the position of the image here I'm gonna give it the right top and then uh, forward slash and then we are able to give the size of the image and I'm gonna remove the position or you can also remove the size from here and then we have to give the re background repeat property value here I'm gonna give repeat and then the background attachment whose value is fixed and so now let's watch it here you can see that the color is apply but the image is repeat all over the body and it have the 100% size and the fixed attachment when we scroll down the page and uh, we can also remove any value from these values it's still working here you can see that so this is the way we can put the all the values in the one property and you can also give only one value if you want to give only one value here we can only give we are able to only give the color so it's not going to create any problem and I hope you understand my lecture if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can and in my next lecture I am going to discuss how to give the different style to the text so see you in the next lecture